What's going on guys? It is Murdering here and today I have a very different video for you. Something that in my opinion is very important and I want to start off and pretty much sum up what you've kind of seen leading up to watching this video. The game has actually been hacked which can be very bad for the future of this game. So first as always I want to talk about how I found this out. Someone actually commented on a video gave me a link to another YouTuber that speaks a different language than I do and I checked it out I had it translated and it's rather concerning what was said I cannot confirm everything that was said there obviously I trust the people that made the video so let's start with that Verdan who is a Russian or Ukrainian YouTuber and Bayov who I've actually shouted out in the past for one of his clan boss videos they both covered this i'm going to leave a link in the description to their videos if this is your native language of russian so we need to talk about a few things and why this is so important one of the claims is that the developers actually know about this and so few people know about the service that they're not worried about it which is a huge problem because what essentially happened was somebody figured out and made a company out of somebody being able to hack into the developers mode and pretty much alter the game where they can clear any content with any champion they want. So this means that they can go into any single dungeon with your typical five uncommons and KO who you start with and they can clear everything in seconds. And I'm going to show you screenshots from their videos of all of this happening. What is a huge issue is a service like this being sold for as cheap as it's claimed to be sold for the price that's being charged is actually cheaper than the cheapest pack available in this game to pretty much clear any content you would like obviously it goes up one thing that they did mention is this cannot be farmable and repeated so that is i guess the only drawback these people have to their service but they can clear any dungeon all the way to stage 20 within i mean i'm going to show you in a second how quick the times are they can clear all of faction wars they can beat any single arena team with any set of champions and i'm not sure if people remember this but i want to say a month ago or two months ago people were posting screenshots of very strange champions saying how could i have possibly lost to these four champions and the answer was you couldn't have possibly lost to those champions. It is very possible they found out about this service and website, went onto it and paid them to beat a certain amount of teams until they reached whatever threshold they were looking for. Now what this can do is complete someone's Arbiter missions for them very quickly and cheaply. But the bigger issue here is if these individuals could do this, this means more people can do this, which makes it a huge breach in the company. And if they're not as worried about it, that means that not enough people know about this issue where the company actually has to take it seriously. So the point in making this video is to get as much exposure as possible. The Russians did a fantastic job on making videos. They work with each other. They are trying to get their videos as viewed as possible to make sure as many people see it as possible. So. After someone messaged me about it, I'm trying to do the same with the English speaker base since I haven't seen a video on this yet and this is not new news as far as I know. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start showing you the screenshots of what is actually happening here. So this is the first screenshot. This is Dragon Stage 1 through 5 completed in 2 seconds. This is Dragon Stage 16 through 20 completed within 2 seconds or 1 second from starting the match. This is the team that was used and as mentioned before I'll leave a link to the video below where you actually get to see. They don't show you a run live obviously they just have the account after someone purchased it. But this is the team that was saved into the account when the person got their account back. This is the complete roster of that account. Obviously we see Kale here at level 30 and if I remember watching the video correctly this was a I want to say level 6 account when this started. And as you can see, he's wearing Dragon 20 gear. These are some campaign times that were shown in the video. Obviously, this can also be replicated in the Nightmare campaign. And the final thing, which seemed to be a popular service in this group, was clearing faction wars as long as you had five champions for each of the factions. And once again, this can be done using uncommons and rares. So overall, this is a pretty big issue. And like I said before, do me a favor. 
leave a comment on this video, like so it gets more exposure, share this to as many people as possible. The content issue is definitely an issue and that's something they should hear about. And I know it's being passed up from the CMs, but this is actually a huge issue and this, as I mentioned before, scarily enough does have the potential to actually kill the game if they don't fix this fast enough and if it spreads fast enough. We have seen hacks before that have been dealt with where they manipulated the speed of the game where they ran things at like 30 times speed and they were in fact clearing things. However, this is the first time a developer mode was hacked into where you could use any single champion to one shot any content you want as well as a speed hack which is why this is such a big problem and the fact that they're charging super cheap for all of this is pretty much going to ruin the game like i said i can't confirm this but what was said was developers have been contacted so they're not taking it as a huge deal however i think that's definitely the wrong move and i think it may be true maybe some of you watching you had no idea this was possible even though it's been around for a decent bit of time based on what I gathered from the information I saw. So I think it's time to let everyone know so they instantly fix this. So there's absolutely no problem down the line. And thank you for the person who, I don't know how to pronounce your name since I didn't translate it, but thank you for whoever posted in my last video who brought this topic to my attention. I think it was very valuable and important that I saw this so I could make this video and release it to everyone. So thank you once again, and I will see you all in the next upload.